happening. I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. So surreal. They called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I'm okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and- Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. I do love my analog camera. Any one of you could do that I should take a quick picture now. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture... Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. <coughs> Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s on. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all I can't about believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. And hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. 
It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria, Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even if you're submitting your photo for the huh, competition, this might make a cool shot. Is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma. I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in this shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Now, no matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I, I don't want anybody to- Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is- Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The decisive moment by Henry Cartier Bresson. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images, but I still dig my little instant camera. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. I like this panoramic view of Blackwell. Everything looks so green. 